Hey honey, welcome to my channel Design by Adam. My name is Teresa, I'm a professional fashion designer, and today I am designing snowflake patterns. I am showing you all the things that you can do when you are designing a new pattern. And it doesn't have to be snowflakes, it can be anything you want. You can use flowers or cars or hearts or princesses or anything. I have designed so many patterns over the years. So I'm going to show you now how I create my patterns in Adobe Illustrator and how I try it out on different colors and how I apply it on garments. Okay, let's go. This is the snowflake I want to use today. So I'm going to make a square, baby blue square, and I'm going to paste the snowflake onto the square and I'm going to copy and paste it and play around with it in different sizes and I'm going to move them around within the square. So the square is my repeat. So this is the space that I have to work in and I am just playing around with um, copying and pasting the snowflakes. And if I was using something else, like a different symbol, like a heart or something, I would rotate some of them to make a pattern that is has many directions because I don't want just a one direction pattern. So snowflakes are pretty much all directions anyways, so I can just copy and paste them. And I'm just going to add some small ones here. When I like what I see, I will select all and drag them over to the swatches and I will make a big shape and test it out because I need to make sure the pattern is nice and seamless without any white lines and I need to see if I need to move the snowflakes around a little bit. So this works pretty well. So now I want to save um, the pattern and export it as a PNG. As soon as I have exported the print repeat as PNG, it can be sent to the producer, it can be sent to the factory, it can be uploaded to print-on-demand services like Printful, Printify, Redbubble, and you can just go ahead and create products right away. Okay, so let's try out some different colors. I want to try out some gray or white maybe. I want like a really classic, beautiful snowflake pattern, and white is amazing. I love it. And now I'm going to go ahead and save it and I'm going to name it something like white snowflake pattern and I'm going to export it as a PNG like I did with the other one. And I'm going to make sure that the background is transparent. So now I have this pattern that I can uh, print on fabrics, on mugs, on other materials, like anything I want, anything that's white, I can print this onto it. So I'm just going to click OK, and now I have this print repeat ready to go as well. Now we're going to play around with some more colors. You can have so much fun with this, and this is like my favorite part, because the tricky part is making the repeat, and when you have the repeat, you can just have fun. So let's try like a dusty blue. I love this one. I love this one. So save and export once more. Let's try some more colors. Pink, eh, I don't know, maybe. Um, oh no, no, yeah, no. Not sure about that one. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, I like pink. Okay. Not sure, I need to play around with the snowflake. Not sure about the print color. Um, can I find one? There we go. Perfect, save and export once more. So when you're a fashion designer and you create new patterns, there are so many ways you can apply them to the garments. So right now I am designing the snowflake collection, right? Now I can make a snowflake pattern and have it printed on the fabric, call the fabric supplier, say, hey, 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 I want this kind of fabric with this kind of print. These are the colors. Here is the repeat. I want it all over printed on the fabric. And then it will be shipped to the production facility and they will sew the garments from the all over printed fabric, right? That's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it is you can have it knitted. 
you can uh, make a knit pattern of the snowflakes like this and then um, the knit factory or a sibling or your mom can knit the pattern into the garments or you can go like this see um, in this case the snowflake pattern has been burned into the fleece and it stays nice for a really really long time so it's just very subtle and sweet and it's the kind of design that I really like. I like it when it's just little details, just subtle. You can use it on lining even. That is so beautiful. If you have silky satin lining and you can have the pattern embossed on the lining, that's beautiful. So if you're making um, winter jackets, ski jackets, winter coveralls for kids or something, having an embossed lining with um, snowflakes on it, ah, oh, gorgeous. And there are many other things you can apply the pattern to. If you go on sites like redbubble.com, you can upload your pattern and apply it to so many things like iPhone covers, um, laptop bags, uh, tote bags, uh, blankets, um, bean bags, cups, so many things. So if you just spend a little bit of time designing some new patterns, you can use them on so many things for years to come. And snowflakes are kind of timeless, you know? So it's a design that comes back every winter and every Christmas, right? It's not something that's trending right now. And then next year, nobody wants snowflakes, right? So snowflakes are like evergreen, sort of. They're like timeless, amazing designs that you can just bring back every single winter. So maybe this winter we will have it printed on garments. Maybe next winter we will have it embossed like this. And maybe the winter after that we will have it knitted like this. See, so much you can do. So you start with a shape or a symbol or an animal or something that you wanna use. And then you copy and paste it in different sizes and then you rotate some of them and then you maybe change the colors or the opacity of some of them make some of them maybe transparent some of them are solid play around with it and be super creative and have fun with it okay so there's one thing i want you to remember when you are designing all of our prints to be used on fabric and to be used for fashion my advice to you is to make it um, so that it's not just one direction, okay? So if you're designing a palm tree print, don't have all the palm trees standing like this because it will really limit the use of the fabric. Let's say you're making a trench coat using the palm tree print. Then all the pattern pieces need to be... Um, need to be in the, in a certain direction to have the palm trees standing up straight and not being crooked or upside down or sideways or something. But if you have a print that is like going in all directions, like palm trees going this way, this way, this way, this way, it really makes it so much more efficient when you are sewing the garments because the pattern pieces can be placed upside down and next to each other really tight and it's fine because the pattern will look good no matter what. So my professional advice, if you're making patterns, please try to make them so that the fabric can be cut in many directions. And here we go, here we are in Redbubble and you can see I have uploaded my snowflake prints and my snowflake patterns in different colors and I've applied them to many garments and products and cups and gifts. And here you can see what that looks like. And that's it. So if you liked this video and found it helpful, make sure you hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe because I post new videos every single Friday and I have something fun coming up next week. So stay tuned, okay? Bye.